Quick spoiler disclaimer, all the gameplay in this video is from side missions or from just randomly running on the world and you will not get any story spoilers. And now let's get into today's topic. I found it hard to find the right Borderlands character just based on knowing their individual action skills because so much happens in the new skill trees in Borderlands 3. I figured that's not an issue that I'm alone with and that's why I already made a quick skill tree breakdown for Flak and Moes. Today we'll continue with, in my opinion, the most underrated character and that is Amara the Siren. Without further ado, let's get right into her skill trees. One thing that is worth noting for all her skill trees is that she can change the element of her action skills. By default it's shock damage and by specking into different trees she can get fire damage and corrosive damage. With all these skill trees I'm not going to talk about every point that you'll spend individually but instead give you an overview of which effects are primarily amplified by which skill tree and how. The first one we're looking at is the brawl skill tree. Brawl comes with an ability called Face Slam, which allows her to briefly jump into the air and then slam onto the ground with the fists popping from the ground, dealing huge AoE damage. The tree in itself comes with a mix of damage reduction and health, so you get a lot of survivability, but also increased close range damage and certain melee ability combos. So if you like melee or bruiser playstyles or you want a frontline, that skill tree is for you. The defensive aspects of this tree are increased health in multiple ways actually, constant health regeneration, more when your health is lower, elemental resistance, decreased splash damage taken or increased splash damage resistance, damage reduction through using her action skill up to 40% for 15 seconds, shield regeneration delay being decreased and movement speed increased after taking damage so you can juke easier and even a damage reflect through an orb. She also gets extra health regeneration after dealing damage with an action skill, but simultaneously also gets extra gun damage. And there's a lot of synergy going on, so for example if she uses melee attacks, she also enhances her action skill that then gives you the other enhancement, so you're constantly switching between shooting, punching and using your action skill. Speaking of punching, you can greatly increase your melee damage in multiple ways, you can increase the range after using your action skill, and you can also kind of dash that way, and then there's an enhanced version of the melee attack that allows you to dash ever so often as well and gets a cooldown reset, so a lot of melee stuff going on too. You get bonus damage for being closer to a target and you also get increased splash damage, so if you want to go with a torque shotgun that's basically perfect. You also get an instant self revive effect ever so often that deals damage to enemies around you, so the closer you are to enemies at all times, the better for you. There's also a team skill that increases ally movement speed by up to 10% for killing enemies. The augmentations in the tree allow you to push a line of fists as your action skill or use an elemental beam as well. Uh, you get a nova effect on your face slam and you can confuse enemies and cause them to attack each other as well as getting the option to make your action skill corrosive this way. If you enjoyed the video so far feel free to subscribe for more Borderlands content, more ability tree breakdowns and everything. And let's move on to the next skill tree now, Fist of the Elements. The action skill is Face Grab which allows you to lock enemies in the air. I would recommend this especially for beginners, this tree really helps you out with aim or with sniping from a distance as well and you get the fire elemental effect in this tree too which makes it easier for early enemies. Maybe add some health regeneration from the brawl tree. If you're familiar with Maya from Borderlands 2 this is essentially her skill minus the sustain effects that she could get on it. This skill tree is also extremely efficient with dealing with clusters of enemies. The skill tree gives you enhancement to your weapons like better weapon handling, accuracy and also gun damage after grasping an enemy. You get a ricochet chance for all your shots and enemies explode after being killed by elemental guns, so that's for clusters of enemies. And there are lots of elemental effects in this tree. Increased elemental effect duration, damage, the weapon damage is partially converted to elemental, you can get extra elemental damage on your weapon, the overall elemental damage can be increased and status effects can spread, the max size with elemental weapons is increased and you can get lifesteal from elemental weapons. You can also increase your melee damage by a lot and turn it elemental. There is a team skill here which is killing a grasp enemy instantly reloads the player's magazine. So if your ally kills a grasp enemy they get a reload but it's really not that huge compared to some other team skills. Augmentations in this tree are auto targeting projectiles on a different action skill that you can use. You can deal additional AOE damage on your grasp, you can have a singularity pull that pulls enemies in on your grasp and you can split the damage between enemies during your grasp. As I said this tree also gives you access to the fire version of your action skill. The last tree is Mystical Assault and its ability is Face Cast which is just a straight line damaging ability. 
The Dries core mechanic is called Rush and this Rush effect gets applied through different things and also affects a lot of things and makes it so that comboing gunshots and your action skill is very very effective. As the last point in this tree makes the entire tree way more powerful, I would recommend respecking into it later and not starting with it. So Rush gets applied through killing enemies and elemental effects and enhances your action skill damage and your elemental effect chance and it gets enhanced even further by your final action skill doubling the stacks and giving you 50% of your stacks back when killing an enemy with your action skill. In addition this tree can increase your reload speed, weapon swap, mode switch, fire rate, charge time for melee one guns and the gun damage. And your action skill gets a lower cooldown, increased effects, higher damage and you can increase your crit damage and accuracy after use and you can even use it twice. Killing enemies also makes them fire out homing projectiles. The augmentations here allow you to heal yourself and allies through your action skill. You can get a mini face lock effect on your action skill and you can amplify your damage by hitting more enemies with your action skill. And that is time, 6 minutes done. With that, thank you guys very much for watching, I hope this was interesting and insightful. Again, if you enjoyed this and you maybe want to see the one that comes up for Zane next or you want to see a more detailed breakdown for Amara in the future, feel free to subscribe and maybe hit the bell. Also, if you want to see how to optimize your settings for Borderlands 3, I made a video on that and I will link that up here. And on that, see you for the next one tomorrow. Dukesloth, out.